Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Once again, once again, I'm not going to raise my voice or shout people down. Um, I want to do a year in review. Uh, a lot of people, this be, might be doing a lot of shows on year in review. Well, mine's going to be a little different. Um, it's not going to be one to ten of the best moments. No, it's not going to be the best moments. Um, the highlights, the audio, the, the snippets, they like five minutes snip, snippets of your moments in time, essentially. But anyway, nonetheless, we're going to talk about the year in review all the way from January up till, well, for this for this month. Um, in January of 2019, we're going to start with January 2019. Uh, Donald Trump, who was the President of the United States still at the time, uh, wanted to... Um, uh, if they don't, if they don't get the money, um, they're gonna shut the government down. Uh, that's the United States. That's in Capitol Hill, or um, the Senate. They're gonna shut the government down in the United States. That's in the White House area. If he doesn't get his six point what six point one million dollars for the wall, this border wall that he was been talking about, that got everybody in a really upset about that. It's. <laughs> Not only that, uh, he wants his money. <laughs> it's like a dealer. He wants his money. Six point million. The Congress or the uh, Senate it was going to go halfway on that. But it was $6.1 million for his border wall. Uh, they shut down the government. I don't know why they did this, but they shut down the government for a few months. People in the Capitol Hill and uh, where Nancy Pelosi is. They got very pissed off about this. They st <laughs> they wanted to open up the uh, government so they could deal with uh, deal with the wall, uh, the border wall in Mexico City or wherever it was. Um, it's uh, the the whole country is divided, and that's because of the wall, the border wall. Your six point billion dollars for the wall have the longest wall ever in the uh, Mexican border. That started uh, in January. Uh, in February, they went really good. They opened up the government. Everybody was back to business the way that should have been. Um, going into, uh, now we're gonna move on to uh, June, of uh, middle of this year in June. Um, I don't know if I should uh, really give some uh, notoriety, some name recognition. Um, this is the um, press secretary in the White House. She's better known as Cyril Sanders Huckabee. Uh, yeah, she's got name recognition all over. Uh, uh, she was the uh, she was the press secretary that helped out the press in the White House. Um, there's a little room where the press gathers, and they ask like almost twenty questions a day about the uh, about the Trump administration. Uh, I think they circumvent the word that people tend to use is circumvent. The uh, Trump administration, and, uh, and they like to gurgitate <laughs> to it. Sarah Sanders Huckabee. She, I don't know. I don't know who uh, got her her job to be on that, but I think I think Donald Trump really pointed her to be on the uh, press secretary. I don't know how the story went. Maybe one of these days, Sarah Sanders Huckabee. She's the same age as um, as Heather Sweeney, one of my mom's brother's um, daughters. Same age. They were born the same year, um, I kid you not. Uh, but Sarah Sanders Huckabee, she left to, she went, she went to uh, other, other avenues in her life, uh, other pathways. She just, she told that I think two, uh, two, uh, two months in a, uh, before she had to left the uh, Trump administration. Uh, she, uh, told, I think she told that out uh, publicly. Um, but there was a video on YouTube. I kid you not, folks. This is this is a. She's she was in the Trump administration for two solid years, as being a press secretary. Uh, go back in about a year ago, she was still there, but this year she left her post, as they say, uh, and this one. I don't know. I found I found out on the web browser. I looked. I just typed in her name. She's a campaign manager, I found out. I didn't realize she was. But on her, on her um, if you type her name on, this, uh, her first name, middle name, and her last name, um, it does say that in there, she's a campaign manager. I didn't realize she was. I really didn't realize that she was. Uh, that, that's news to me. 
so yes, uh, she was a press secretary. She was uh, she is campaign manager. I don't know, and she's also a mother. So it was like a year ago on CNN. They would do around the twelve o'clock hour in the afternoon, where CNN uh, does these. Uh, press secretary were one room and somewhere in the Washington DC had one room where all the press gather and they asked these all these questions about the Trump administration and um, yeah this is like shooting off 20 questions to what the Trump administration uh, this is I, I saw this room a couple of times this is a very small room where the press gathers and asks about the Trump administration ongoings and just shoot off some questions um, <laughs> they usually do it in the uh, two o'clock hour in the afternoon, uh, where CNN um, and they usually broadcast it on CNN so everybody can see it. Um, and uh, sometimes the public will chime in uh, about what they said in the press. <laughs> but anyway, this latest uh, press uh, press secretary, I don't know, they for some strange reason they don't. Do the press secretary thing anymore of some strange reason um, I think it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman I think you got to deal sometimes they'll do things normally the people say you got to do things normally well they didn't do it this time uh, they just didn't do it this I don't know the person who's now a press secretary I think they don't uh, do any more of that anymore um, but yeah, with the Trump administration, it's really hard to really be focused on it and not have uh, be, you know, the press asking you a lot of questions about the Trump administration, what we heard from the news and stuff. Um, but anyway, that in mind, so that was around June of 2019. Uh, this is the year in review. Everybody's going to do a year in review. I'll do mine um, here on my channel. Um, but yeah, lots has happened since January. I mean, they shut the government down just for uh, the border wall. Everybody was, <laughs> Chuck Schumer was really ticked off about it. They want to open up the government to deal with that sort of topic. Uh, they couldn't because it was shut down because uh, Donald Trump, you know, it's dumb Trump that he is, shut it down for a few months and uh, there was no business, as they say, <laughs> in the... Uh, in the Senate or in the uh, uh, the House of where as Nancy Pelosi would be, so it's so fitting with Nancy Pelosi, you know, as the house that Nancy Pelosi built. It's like AJ Styles in the rest of the world. Uh, but anyway, I digress on that one. But like I said, it's Nancy Pelosi's house, and uh, for reasons unknown, uh, they took a vote uh, this week. They took the vote to impeach him. Now, I said a few days ago uh, that. They impeached him, but he's not on office as of yet. So I would say, not yet. They impeached him, but they didn't do the action kind of thing. Um, they didn't say bye bye or you know have a long vacation type of thing. Um, no, they got impeached. They took a vote. The normal thing is take a vote. You take the vote in the Senate, and if it's nays or yays, the peach. Uh, they've been saying all week. Um, about uh, impeachment, you can look up the definition of the impeachments. Kids should do that. Um, it does say in the impeachments, uh, crime and misdemeanors, and treaty, and a whole bunch of things. And they're just uh, what they're trying to do in the House of Nancy Pelosi is basically kick Donald Trump out of office. <laughs> uh, yeah, sad as they may seem. But uh, he did something that he should have done, essentially. Uh, but it's all confusing. If you're, if you're a kid at school, it's very, very complex, as I would say. It's very complex, unless you're watching CNN every week, every day of the week. Um, and I don't mean that literally. I mean, if you're on top of things and you know what Donald Trump says week to week, month to month, um, on his press conference. He does have press conference. Sometimes they're lengthy and sometimes they're short. Um, but he does get them out there. Um, uh, Rui Giuliani, as a lot of people would say, he used to be the, I, th I forget the, uh, the lawyer, I think, for the Donald Trump, I think. or He's going around. He's, he's never been on the White House, ever. So, anyway, that's my review. I just want to say this is the best 29 year ever. 
uh, from January on, on to this December, and we're going on the year 2020. So 20 years into 2000s. Can you believe that? 20 solid years. Um, and we had a lot from the last 20 years. We had 9-11. A lot of people know that already around the world. Uh, that, that shouldn't have even happened, but it did, uh, kind of thing. Um, uh, in those days, in uh, the... Uh, uh, the only big incident around the world was the 9-11. People were really, really, uh, uh, and everybody in New York City, I mean the New York City down the, you know, the middle of the uh, New York City area. The whole scenario, after they did the 9-11, everybody was in high alert. I mean, everybody around the New York City was in high alert after the 9-11 for a while, at least to, I think, uh, to uh, 2004. And then they lower the bar. They kind of lower the bar on that. And uh, everybody was, you know, really on edge, essentially. Um, but, yeah, um, a lot of people are talking about Building 7. That was right beside the two Twin Towers. Uh, and uh, Building 7, people have their theories how that came down. Well, they were, you know, speculating. It's not, uh, you know, construction workers who brought it down normally, as they would say. Um, uh, but I think I think uh, maybe in uh, in some sense maybe it wasn't uh, man-made. I think it just came down uh, like uh, all by itself. This is a theory I'm running by here, folks. So that happened in 2001. Everybody was in high alert in New York City. I mean, the old New York City was in high alert in that time frame. Um, but it, they lowered a the bar after a while, like in 2004. They kind of they were, they were just making sure for a few years that, you know, that everything was a-okay. Um, so, oh, by the way, in case you guys are wondering out there, uh, the 20th anniversary of 9-11 will be coming up in the tw year 2021, uh, in two years' time. Um, very sentiment. Um, now, at the, uh, and I watched it clearly on CNN that morning. I thought it was like a regular news story until, until it was... Until it was big news. Until it was big news. Uh, it didn't have to be, but it did. So anyway, we're going to the year 2020. So 20 years into 2000s. This is quite surprising for a lot of people. Um, I've only been on this world since 30 plus years. 30 plus years. And I've seen it all. I mean, I was seen it all. But anyway, this uh, 29, uh, 2019 was great for me. It was had some ups and downs, highs and lows. Um, but first year, I uh, kid you not, people. Uh, first year, I don't have my friend around anymore. He passed away so suddenly last year. Um, I, 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 I eventually know him best uh, for 31 years as friendship. And we lost a great dear friend of ours. And uh, yeah, it was... It really, really, uh, I didn't really cry about it, but it was a huge loss. It was a huge loss, not just me, but friends he knew, it was a circle of friends that he knew, that uh, he associated with. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was a huge loss. And uh, so he's go gone in this world. And uh, I saw him in the casket. I just, uh, I just tried to remember him just being alive. And he would do the victory, <laughs> victory speech <laughs> right beside the... Uh, altar there uh, but no it was not meant to be I think uh, I think uh, the only way that he could pass away was either his uh, lungs or his heart gave out and, you know usually when you're in the hospital it's kind of like you're flatlined you're, there's no heartbeat going on and then they assume that you're dead um, you know life you go into in the afterlife but remember, I keep saying to a lot of people, your body goes underground, but your soul still lives on. That's, that's uh, as a kid, when I grew up a long time ago, time and time again story, uh, I, I, was, I was like a little kid around the world who was, was really scared about passing away. I mean, literally. I always had this notion where if you pass away, it's sad. It's just sad. But uh, sad for the person, but it's just, uh, I just hate to, I want to live forever. I really want to live forever. And um, and it's just not possible. And uh, 
I want to live to 100. That's my goal in my life, uh, to live to, uh, to 100. And whenever that will be, will be. Uh, it won't be for a couple of decades. Uh, these kids up today are learning really fast. I mean, the, uh, the intelligence that they have, I mean, they're a lot smarter than we give them kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, it's all because of school and the high ed the education that people always uh, tell uh, uh, tell kids to do. Stay in school, get your education first, and might, uh, so, so, anyway, I just like to say for a lot of things, I'm going to be here to tell you guys, this is the year in review, and uh, a lot of things had happened this year. A lot of shootings went on in Toronto, um, but uh, the chief of the police is uh, uh, they're still uh, they're still working out how they're uh, you know the communities as they say the uh, communities of Toronto is working out the um, of all the shootings. I mean, where's these guns coming from? You know, is it coming from the states into Canada? Um, I mean, uh, there should be no guns around the world. There'll be a day when there'll be a gun. By the way, I'm not a I'm not a time traveler. I don't expect to be a time traveler. I don't go through portals. I don't have a dimension here. I'm not a time traveler. I'm not. Uh, tr I don't transport from here all the way down to New York City. Uh, but I don't have a a time machine to do it with. Um, there's been a few people that admit, admitted that uh, on a real story that they have done this. But they go through portals in the in the world. They go through portals to another dimension, and they have these people tell them what future they were from, and they come back from this time frame. Um, and uh, yeah, so in twenty nineteen, I enjoyed this immensely from January to December. I really enjoyed this, and um, I want to thank everybody. To the little people, to the big people, to everybody. So your my year in review, because everybody else is going to do their year in review. And um, it went well for me. It was a little ups and downs. Uh, and and um, yeah, here on out, I'm going to stay as live as I can until I'm 100 years old. Um, at least that's the plan. Until I turn 100, if I make it there. Um, but yeah, I'm now now I'm in my forties, in my four four, uh, four point zero years of actually living this planet. Uh, but here here's the, here's the, uh, here's the uh, here's the part that I always uh, get at, and um, you guys can listen to me what I'm saying. Um, uh, I'll miss forty five years of my dear friend of thirty one years being friends with him. Uh, I told him before, if one of us were to pass away, if one of us were to pass away in the great beyond, uh, one of us will have to send a message certain ways, as I would say. Um, remember, our soul is still alive, but our body goes underground. What you see in front of you, this body of yours, stays underground, but our soul lives on. That gives you an idea. Uh, a lot of people will tell you that. And uh, so, anyway. Uh, your soul lives on. That gives you great comfort, as I would say to people, any type of person around the world. gives you comfort. Your body you see in front of you goes underground, but your soul lives on. Whatever soul you have. Soul is like energy. Remember that. Soul is like energy. And uh, I don't want to get into the paranormal side of things, but... Uh, we have thanks for our people today. Our people, I should say, our people. We have these devices today. Um, they call them digital recorder devices uh, or spirit boxes. These are uh, in the part of the paranormal side of things. Um, the spirit, they call it the spirit communication. Spirit communication means you hear these are disembodied voices. They got an the energy of some sort. And uh, they're just t it's like like they're talking like you and I, but it's like one word saying. Uh, but it's all it's like a, if you were to tune a tuner on a radio station, an analog tuner, uh, and in between the radio stations, there's 
uh, they call it white noise or no noise at all. Uh, that's when uh, when we sometimes you might hear it, but anyway, it's very complex. But what the atmosphere allows you to do uh, as a spirit person is cr get that energy to to not manifest, but just uh, if you ever, uh, I'll give you this guy. He's called Hot Paranormal uh, on YouTube. He talks about this sort of stuff. He has these things called wonder boxes or spirit boxes or ghost boxes, whatever they call them. Um, and what you get is disembodied voices from the other side of the world. That means the afterlife when they passed on. Uh, and their spirit, this is the spirit, speaks beyond the grave. Um, I'll give you an example. A lot of people who know Princess Diana, who passed away in 97, I kid you not. Years later, uh, her spirit, Princess Diana's spirit, if you get that, um, speaking beyond the grave. So she creates that energy. Someone has a psychic medium or psychic, uh, well, a reading. They call it the psychic reading for a reason. Uh, to try and communicate beyond, uh, beyond the grave. Um, and Princess Diana gives, uh, trying to give a message out to the world that she likes, uh, her sons are still living. Her sons, her, that she inherited. Um, uh, Henry, I guess his name, Prince Henry, and, uh, and those two guys, uh, they're still around to this day. And um, remember, um, but anyway, that being said, I will tell you guys, it's the best year yet, but we're going into 20 years into 2000s. Uh, it's, uh, but everybody's going to do their reviews either this week or next week on TV stations to your radio stations uh, from all the way from January to December of this year. And oh, what's a, poster, this, uh, a tennis person, this young lady tennis person, she's all excited. She won the... Uh, I forget her name now. Uh, she was in the sporting world. It got a lot of tension around the world. Uh, and she's from Canada, I think. Um, she, she sounds really good. Uh, she's, I kid you not. I just think about it right now. Uh, so she won the tennis. Uh, people uh, have championships for ten tennis around the world. I never really get all this tennis stuff. Uh, but yeah, um, that was good. That was, I think, I forget, it was around, I think, uh, in July or June, sometime around there. And it was big news around the world. Um, and it was an international <laughs> for her first uh, taste of uh, championship in the tennis world. And uh, that was good. That was very good, very good. Uh, uh, the, uh, you know, that was good. But anyway, in the sports world, we, oh, one before I leave, the Raptors, yes, we can't forget the Raptors. Uh, big championship, I'm wearing my hat right now. There's no visuals, but... Um, Raptors won their first, get this, their first championship NBA you know, thing. Uh, for the very first time. <laughs> and I kid you not, it was a big parade. It was a lot of people there. It was really good. It was very good. And a lot of people were excited. Big parade they had. Oh, it was a lot of people. It was more than uh, Donald Trump could ever see. It was like a sea of people in the parade. It was a. Uh, it kind of. It kind of. It kind of had the NBA on a map, essentially. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. But this is my year in review of me, and I'll put that in the title of on YouTube. And um, yeah. So I want to thank everybody, most importantly, everybody. I don't want to mention names here, but everybody around the world who's a human, not an alien, <laughs> so-called alien. Um, you know, uh, trust me, I know what an alien looks like when I see one. Um, but anyway, uh, I think, oh, by the way, I won't forget most of Donald Trump, the first year he was in, well, not really the first year, but this year he was impeached, but not out of office yet. Let me just put that uh, underlined yet. Uh, he's still there, but they impeached him. Now, apparently what I'm hearing, the next step <laughs> they're going to get this. They're going to take Donald Trump to court. I kid you not. 
so they're going to do that court thing. Um, apparently, you could do this in the Senate. Um, apparently, uh, you can. Uh, apparently, what I've heard is you could uh, change the Senate into a court system. I don't know how they're going to do this. Probably the first time ever done. Originally, originally, what the um, you go to the you know the regular courts that uh, you know the public goes to. Uh, if there's something that somebody did terribly, uh, you know, but that's the uh, court system we have today. But that's not like converting the Senate into a court system. That's not the way we do it. We have from a court system for a long, long time. Um, but anyway, um, so my year review was great. Ups and downs, highs and lows. Like I said, moments I had, moments I didn't have. But most importantly... I want to say all my fans who will listen to my YouTube channels, thank you for listening to my uh, videos. If you are, if you're not, that's okay. I'm still going to say thank you for listening and many more videos to come. I'm not going to leave YouTube. A lot of people expect to leave, uh, leaving YouTube. I'm going to stay on YouTube no matter what the juggernaut is saying. He's leaving for a uh, 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 story fire, uh, but I'm going to stay on YouTube as long as possible, as long as YouTube is around. Um, these are social media uh, sites that allow you to put up your own videos, your own user videos up there, uh, or whatever production videos you're doing. You want to share it to a lot of people, and you could through YouTube uh, and comment on. You can comment on it. Anyway, anyway, another day, another time, right? Uh, but anyway, a year review. It's a lot of sadness. A lot of hopes and dreams and um, all things went around this world, but we're still here, as they say. We're still here living, not passed away. That's the one thing. And um, yeah, I'm still alive. And if God allows me to be 100, so be it. And uh, so anyway, I want to say thank you very much. You're my year review, my final year review. I kid you not. Uh, it's just a full year of every event in the news to uh, to YouTubers out there. Oh, don't forget the YouTubers out there. Every YouTuber out there, I really appreciate it. But were for them, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Um, these are sort of like my YouTubers are like friends to me. They're like a community out there of community, or you can call these people creators of YouTube. They like to create content to videos, photos, to you name it. YouTube is mostly for everything. If you want to show your own videos, you go up on YouTube. And uh, you can do it a production, like a production video if you wanted to. Uh, you can go live and do a broadcast live, just like a TV station. Uh, and, um, and you can really do really good things, really good things. It's just uh, through video and audio. You know, the audio portion to the video portions. And um, so, thank you everybody. This is my final year in review. And Sarah Sanders Huckabee um, is, uh, is great. She was great as being press secretary of the White House. But we haven't, uh, I'm not too sure who's the person now, press secretary, because uh, I'm a little worried about it. Somebody will have to tell me who's the press secretary of the White House. Um, but they used to do it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, this press, this, <laughs> these uh, press conference in the White House where they do, uh, the, uh, the media people do their, you know, the Q&A session, essentially. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, thank you very much. We're going, we're, I'll see you guys in the year 2020. I kid you not. See you guys in the year 2020. It'll be exciting. A lot of moments, highs and lows in the year 2020. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, I don't want to catch persons here. Uh, a lot of things happened this year. Um, and uh, it, we're going into 20 years into the year 2000s. Uh, so a lot in those 20 years, in the 2000s, a lot has happened. I kid you not. But uh, one other thing i got to say, um, the next president should be uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, I think that should be the next president of the United States. I just thought this up a couple of days. 
uh, I think in his resume, there sh he should be the president of the United States because he's done a lot of movies. He's done the Terminator films from all the way back from eight, early 1980s up till now. He's done a lot of films. I, I don't want to mention all of them, but uh, he's a he's a mo big movie star. He was once the California guy, uh, a senator from California. I think he he'll get a best chance of winning this presidency, and he won't beat out the. Donald Trump, uh, this Tom Sawyer guy, um, he's always advertising the ads on CNN uh, that uh, he always calls out Donald Trump and he thinks he's a fraud. Uh, and he says right to the camera, I kid you not, a camera lens. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's one of these candidates uh, who tells Donald Trump he's a fraud and some other word I can't remember now. And uh, anyway, I really enjoyed this year. Um, full year and I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to a lot of my YouTubers out there um, if it weren't for YouTubers I just wouldn't be here today I just wouldn't be here very exciting moments ep epic moments to uh, sad moments to uh, uh, great moments to laughable moments um, these YouTubers are far and wide um, all walks of life and I'm not just saying that folks uh, a lot of famous YouTubers out there who created their own uh, YouTubes and uh, did merchandise to their books if they want to have if they have books coming out uh, and uh, yeah um, so I really appreciate it. I, I come to uh, really appreciate their their videos and they're just vlog videos ordinary vlog videos and they want to vlog out adventure videos to you name it. It's, uh, it really, really uh, pushes the boundary of what you can do on video. And uh, mostly the videos today are usually have that 4K resolution of videos. That's the uh, um, four, uh, 4K is like the up conversions uh, for video. Uh, so instead of a 1080p, they give you 4K. The best cameras out there for doing the 4K uh, video. <laughs> Kid you not. Uh, on the action, uh, on the action side of cameras, uh, the best bet I would give you people out there would be the GoPro cameras. They're uh, they're known by the action that you can get uh, and every sports level. And uh, you can have it in four K resolution, uh, uh, video in it, recording it. You know, uh, they call it film photography. Uh, that's the words they throw out there. Um, but yeah, yeah, GoPros were meant for action stuff, action videos. They'll do the 4K resolution on videoing. So, so it re it's really good, and um, there's a lot of functionality. There's a lot of features in it, and tons of features on this thing. Uh, as a user can use, essentially, and um, yeah. So, Merry Christmas to everybody. Mariah Carey, I'll talk about. Uh, Mara Carey, who's still around to this day, is 49 years old, if you can believe it. Uh, who's a singer, um, celebrating a milestone, milestone in the music industry. Uh, 25 years later, shall we say, one of her songs, one of her Christmas songs back in 94, um, they still play that song to this day, I kid you not, on some radio stations, if, if you hear it. Uh, you'll, you'll recognize her music. Um, and yeah, she turns 49 years old this year, this 29 year, um, but she's still around to this day. Uh, she's a mother, uh, you can tell by her being 49 years old. And uh, she's an entrepreneur. Uh, I didn't really, really, really get this. Uh, I didn't realize she was an entrepreneur. Uh, you, 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 you think you know all, everything with these, like I keep saying with these people, you think you know everything, but well, you don't. Uh, uh, but yeah, she's an entrepreneur. I was, that took my breath away. Entrepreneur, I was saying to myself, really? Uh, but anyway, yeah, Mariah Carey, she's she's pretty good on all on all accounts. She's okay uh, as a singer. My friend who passed away liked her music back in the day. She had a song I think it was called Honey. Um, and my friend had the twelve inch album, twelve inch song of her. Um, these are LPs. These are like twelve inch versions of the songs and they're a bit extended not shortened down but anyway so 
Thank you very much. This is your review. Sorry it took so long. See you guys very much. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We're going into year 2020. See you then. Final year review. I hope you liked it. Hope you listened to it. Peace.